I am a nutritionist. I am a functional nutritionist. And usually when I say the word at dinner parties, actually as a nutritionist, I don't get invited to too many dinner parties. <laughs> but, but when I, I am, and when I say the word nutritionist, I can literally witness looks of terror on the other person's face. I can see these thoughts, you know, like, why me? Why on the one day that I thought I could eat and drink without guilt running through the other person's head? Um, as a functional nutritionist, I essentially make diseases disappear. But I wasn't always a nutritionist. This is me when I was 15. I had just moved from a really small village into a big new city. Um, I had no idea how to fit in with the cool city kids. I was terrified I was going to be friendless with this really weird accent. So what I did was I started um, mimicking the cool kids. I started um, speaking like they did. I started doing the things they were doing. And I started eating like they did. So I was out to prove I was one of them. Actually, I was out to prove I was even better than any of them. So I did what no one else was doing. I ate one packet of Maggi and drank a bottle of Pepsi every single day. Like, no one could be cooler than me, right? But that was a stepping stone to a lifetime of obesity. This was me at 37. I was 97 kgs. I was um, diabetic. I had autoimmune thyroid issues. I had a fatty liver. I was severely constipated most of the time. I was financially broke. I had really bad skin. I was losing hair. And I was heavily addicted to stimulants. And as you can see, I had no interest in living a life at all. Um, but this was my rock bottom. And this is where I sincerely started attempting to fix my health. So I did what most of us do. I went to a few conventional medicine doctors looking for answers. And uh, I couldn't find any. Like, not doctors. I couldn't find any answers. Um, I was left utterly disappointed in the entire system. But what that made me do was look for you know, systems and methods and ways in which I could sincerely fix my own health. And in doing so, these methods and systems that came forth made reversing any chronic illness so easy, it started feeling like magic. This is Pooja, one of my patients who suffered from ulcerative colitis, which essentially meant that during flare-ups, she would be wheelchair-bound, she was on um, immunosuppressants, she was on steroids for nearly 13 years until we figured out how to make her disease disappear. This is Sri Ranjini. She had something called as fibromyalgia, which meant that from the time she woke up till the time she went to bed, and sometimes even in her sleep, she would be in tremendous pain until we figured out how to make her disease disappear. This is Sachin, who despite his happy smiling face, uh, was a long time sufferer of digestive disorders, which no doctors could diagnose until we figured out how to make his disease disappear. So, you know, each of their dysfunctions looks so unique. There seems to be no commonality to it at all, right? Each of them is going through things that are very, very unique to their own um, bodies. But there is, there is something common. And the key to it is finding the root cause. So guess where the root cause of these dysfunctions are hidden? It's in this. So I don't normally carry vials of blood with me. I am not like a vampire. I don't have a blood fetish. But what I do is I find the root causes of what's making anyone sick in this. I look at this, and I know what's going on in their body. So what makes anyone sick? Well, it could be deficiencies. It could be um, dysfunctional organ systems. It could simply be that they're eating the wrong kind of food. It could be uh, infections with pathogens, uh, with, with the wrong kind of bacteria and viruses. It could be an overexposure to environmental toxins, or it could simply be stress. So that's it. It's these six different root causes that affect us in different permutations and combinations. And depending on what you're genetically primed for, exposure to any of these would manifest as a disease. So let's say you were genetically primed for diabetes, which every second person in this room is. Uh, if you were genetically primed for diabetes and if you were exposed to any of these root causes, you might manifest with diabetes sometime in life. If you were genetically primed for skin issues and you were exposed to any of these root causes, you could show up with maybe acne or psoriasis or eczema. Now, in Pooja's case, 
the girl on the wheelchair, what was making her sick uh, was an excess overload of pathogens and deficiencies of essential nutrients. Uh, Sri Ranjini, the girl with pain, what was making her sick was um, heavy metals and pathogens and eating the wrong kind of food. Sachin, the smiley guy with digestive disorders, what was making him sick was a digestive dysfunction along with a pathogen overload. So now we knew what was making them sick, right? How did I make their diseases disappear? Now here is where the magic deepens because I discovered a single drug, the most powerful medicine on this planet. Uh, it has the power to optimize dozens of hormones. It can um, reset and restore tens and thousands of your genes and change their expression. It can uh, rebalance and restore your entire immune system. It can restore your gut flora and it can reset your thousands of protein networks in the body. So what's this magic drug that I found? It's cheaper, it's faster, and it's more effective than any other drug found here. It has no side effects at all. It's suitable for everyone on the planet. And if it's manufactured correctly, it actually helps the planet heal too. What's the magic drug? It's food. Food is not calories. Food is everything other than what we use it for right now. We use food as our social networking system. We use food as our emotional backup system. We use food as our boredom fixer. We use food as our entertainment system. But food is none of that. What food is essentially is its information. It's essentially instructions, like you know code? It can, it can give instructions to your biological hardware whether to upgrade itself or whether to downgrade itself. Every bite you put in your mouth is information that you're giving to your genes. Every bite that you put in your mouth is going to trigger health or disease. That is the power of food. And look at the impact this easily available, inexpensive, extremely delicious drug has on people's bodies. This is Pooja, the wheelchair girl. Look at her now. This is Sri Ranjini. This is Sachin. Look at the impact this drug has on their bodies. In just a few months of eating right and eating what was necessary for their bodies, their bodies literally reverse aged. Their bodies went from a place of disease into a place of health. Now, these changes aren't just in external appearances. I mean, the before and after pictures are really great, but I'm a little obsessed with data, with this data. So what I make all my patients do is go through a before and after analysis while they're doing the program with me. And Every single time what I see in terms of changes in this data is mind-blowing. It amazes me. Diabetes, for example, completely disappears. We check for something called as insulin levels, which tells me how much effort your body is putting into making energy. And the need for insulin nearly drops down by 40%, which means your body needs literally half the effort required to make the same amount of energy. That's like charging your phone for half the time and it's running for the entire day on 100% battery. There are other changes as well. Uh, people lose like an average of 8 to 15 kgs in three months. You know, the um, bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol that everyone talks of, that kind of drops by almost 30%. The other thing that I track is something called as inflammation. And what most people, so what is inflammation? Um, you know, when you get when you knock yourself on something, you get this bruise, this really red, angry bruise that happens. Most people don't realize that when you're sick from inside, your body feels like this. There's internal inflammation as well happening. Your, your organs, your cells look inflamed like this. And in just three months of eating right, this kind of internal injury also disappears by almost 40%. So for me, this is absolutely incredible and amazing. Now, the question is, if it's this easy to make disease disappear, why are we still sick? Why do we still have India as the diabetes capital of the world? Why are people still gaining weight? And uh, the answer to that is three reasons. One is conventional healthcare system refuses to acknowledge the power of food as medicine. Secondly, most of us, including me, have been raised to believe that we have no control over our own health and we need to outsource it to hospitals and pharmaceutical companies and doctors. Thirdly, the small um, 
pe set of people who actually manage to make this change, who try to make changes to their lifestyle, often fail because they don't have the support of an environment that makes it easy to sustain these changes. And this vital ingredient has largely been underestimated by almost everyone in the healthcare industry. So what's the vital ingredient? It's essentially the power of a tribe. And uh, what's a tribe? And why a tribe? So the latest science supports the uh, power of a group-based healing model. See, we are social creatures, and we are wired for community. So our ability to thrive essentially depends on the community around us. And in my work, I have seen the potent power of a group-based healing model. You know, a collective that's there for you to experiment and fail and make mistakes. A collective that has your back while you're making these mistakes and learning from them. For me, this group-based healing model has been the biggest way in which I've been able to help people mitigate the stress of making big, audacious lifestyle changes. So changes to the way we eat, changes to the way we live changes that give us back our birthright to optimal health, changes that give us our life juicy, <coughs> free of any disease, brimming with health. Because once you're free of disease, you live a life that's brimming with health, that's filled with enthusiasm, and you live each day as if it were a celebration. And this is how you heal. <laughs>